to do. I'll just have to be really quiet.
60 year old man in a 20 year old body, 12 year old body. Well, in a way that would be nice, ruin my life over again. But no, I will not accept defeat. I don't care how long it takes. Failure is not an option. Well, I'm sure you're hungry. Can I get you some breakfast? Not until I figure this out. That minus sign is incorrect. What? It should be a plus sign. <laughs> I don't think so. I mean, wait, we might have something there. You know what? I think that's it. Really? Yes, I do. I really think it is. So, let's see. No change to do. This. What do you want me to do with this? Simple. When I get to the machine, I want you to input that code sequence. Are you sure this is going to work? I mean, what if you come out even younger? Well, then I guess I'll have to some diapers in a sippy cup. <laughs> <laughs> this better work, that's all I can say. So that's what I'm going to write about. I think that's a great choice. Yeah, 
But will my teacher think so? There's no reason why you shouldn't. I mean, Jesus is just like a normal person. Like Thomas Edison, Abraham Lincoln, even Alexander the Great. Yes, it's just you can talk about those people and no one objects. But mention the name Jesus and it could cause a stir. I suspect it's because Jesus claimed to be God, which means he had the authority to tell everybody what to do. And many people don't like that. But many people didn't believe that Jesus was God. They just think he was a good moral teacher. I know, and that makes no sense at all. Well, why do you say that? Because somebody that was just a good moral teacher wouldn't claim to be God. They wouldn't accept people worshiping them, and he wouldn't tell them that he was the only way to get to heaven. Hmm, that's a really good point. Now, there's only three options. He's either lying, he's crazy, where it really is and was the Son of God. And if you read the Bible at all, you know he's not crazy, and you know he's not a liar. Hmm. So, he must have been telling the truth. Well, anyway, I don't care. I've made up my mind. Even if it affects my grade, I just want to learn more about him. Good. You better get to work. I know. Find your paper, I mean. Uh, but, Professor... I mean it. I want you to do a good job. Take the rest of the day off. Okay. You do have a Bible, don't you? Uh, yeah, I think so. You think so? Well, in the meantime, here, take this. Start with the Gospel, you know, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Right. And these might work. And this one? Oh, these two. Oh. And you got to read this one. This one talks about Jesus in the Old Testament. And the prophecies and the Christophanies. Christophanies? Oh, yes. That's when Jesus appeared in the Old Testament before he was born in the New Testament. He did it many times. Wow, that sounds interesting. Well, I better get going. I've got a lot of reading to do. Thanks, Professor. No problem. Lord Jesus, open her eyes as she reads and help her to understand the truth. Amen. All right, Robo, I got a job for you. Merry Christmas! <laughs> I am here to help you. Just tell me what to do. As soon as I enter the machine and secure the door, I want you to input this code sequence. And when the process closes, you just let go. Do you think you can do that? Yes, Professor, I can do that. And much, much more. Would you like to see me juggle? Uh, no. No, right. Anyway, let's see. Am I getting anything? Jackie. Well, definitely needs a power force. Okay, I think I'm ready. As soon as I get the machine, you can proceed. Yeah, 
Hello. <laughs> <laughs> 